Hello YouTube, what is up? It's me, Kate Bossa, and I'm being really lazy on the couch right now to make my next video. So here we have it. A working hot tub. So cool, right? I really hope you think it's really cool, because I spent quite some time on this. I made it myself. No instructions, no nothing on the shower. I did, if you guys remember, I, w I said I was going to do a TV, but there was a problem with the redstone and stuff. Here's my sh uh, shower from the last video. I did have to go on YouTube just to look up some redstone stuff. This is 100% original, though. I, I can guarantee that. Some of my videos I have done research on, I specifically had to do it. Then there are some like these where I just kind of made it myself. It's a really neat hot tub. There are many ways you could decorate it. I was having trouble deciding exactly how to decorate it. There are many ways. I'm just going to explain that to you real quick. So this way is my favorite. Just keeping everything the same. Um, you can then remove... I placed some sea lanterns in here for uh, col uh, just some light. With the torches on the end. You can remove these and instead of doing... Full slab, full blocks. You can do slabs, so your pool's a little bit deeper, like up to your neck when you're standing in the pool. Right here, it is up to my waist. It's kind of good. Got to crouch though, and it's to relax. Where uh, you then add more slabs just along these outer edges here to give it just a little bit more boost, more boost upwards. That was another way um, for interior decorating. Uh, the outside, you could add, like, glowstone where the torches are, or a sea lantern where the uh, torches are. I like the sea lantern just because it gives the water this neat illumin illumination effect. I, li I like sea lanterns more at, in than uh, glowstone. Or you could, instead of these torches, add slabs along the end. It, this is more like a nighttime hot tub, though. Really, now that I'm looking at it, like, time set day, it is... You know, not as cool. But yeah, it, it is a um, hot tub. You can tell that it is hot, though, considering it has, like, the water, the uh, ashes and stuff lighting up, which I think is a really neat little effect. Uh, like, steam, unfortunately, isn't, is, it isn't white, but you can get mods and stuff to make that steam look white. Uh, it's part of a hot tub mod, I do believe. It makes any... Any uh, smoke coming from beneath the hot tub, any smoke coming from beneath a uh, one block thick, it, it turns white. I, I think that's a really neat mod. I was looking that up. Alright, so here the finished project is in the showroom, of course. That's our wall. I did do wood floors. This did cause a lot of problems for me, though, while I was building it. So I would recommend holding off on the wood. That would be the the wood wood torches would be like and water of course would be the last things you want to add on and once you're finished decorating it. So I'm going to show you guys how to build it. So it does depend on how wide you do want to make it. So step one, figure out how wide you want it. I recommend just having it in a square. It's easiest hot tub design. Although some people do want it in a circle. Circle much cooler. I'm not going to do that for this video, because I think you guys could go ahead and do that yourself. It's pretty... You no, know, actually, no, I'm, I'm doing the circle. Uh, one, two, three, four, one. Oh, shoot. So... I just need to have everything perfect when I first start. Uh, so that was one, two, three, four. Oh god, that kind of looks bad. Shoot, I kind of messed up. I messed up somewhere. Hold up. I'm going to fill this in and do it all over. Start all over. I think I'm, yeah, I messed up on one of the lengths. Sorry about that, guys. Sorry about that. Okay. Oh god. Alright, let's see this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There we go. 
that seems like a pretty good shape top. Yeah, it seems like a nice hot tub. Let's do it. I'm not the best circle builder in Minecraft. Okay, so from here you want to build, just make sure that the very bottom of your pit is two blocks down. Wait, hold on, let me think. For a second, what did I do for that one? Hold on, I, I just forgot, because I, I literally just made this hot tub. How could I have made this mistake? I'm just going to dissect it for you guys to show you what the inside uh, does look like. Okay, okay. okay so it's one block. There it is. You use fire for that. Okay, so. I'm gonna wing it. Yeah, looks, I'm winging it, you guys. Let's wing it. I'll make adjustments. I gotta wing it. Okay, so, wait, no. No, no, hold up, hold up. One, two, three. Three, 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 three layers down. I'll put you there for now. No, wait, I gotta be. I got, this is my showroom. I gotta, I gotta keep it nice. So now you guys know the fire you got. It's a nether, nether rack. Okay, so one thing. If you don't already know, nether rack, when you uh, burn it, it is it becomes a fire that is infinite. Neat tip. Nether rack is like infinite coal. You cannot put it in furnaces though, which I find kind of weird. Interesting. It, it, pfft. Ugh, let me start that over. Interesting fact. Oh yeah, this is a new nether wool block. They added some new blocks. They're weird. I don't. I think the bone walk. Red nether brick. Hold up. Let me just check these out real quick. I haven't really seen much of them. So I find the. I've seen the bone block. I found that weird. The red nether rock. That's. It's pretty neat. The magma block. It's. I don't know. Ooh, you. I wonder if you could substitute this for fire. They're hot rocks. Ah, uh, never mind. Never mind that I forget I ever said anything about that. I'm in the wrong section. I'm just. Alright, you're gonna. Die. So if you are building this in survival, which I don't think any of you are, anyone watching will be, although you can, uh. You're gonna need a lot, a lot of netherrack. I would recommend traveling to the nether first, then coming back, uh, finishing your building and whatnot. Wrong buttons. Blah. God, I really need my mouse. It's... I haven't ordered it yet. I will be ordering it very soon, though. I'll be ordering it on Wednesday. Probably. Or something. Okay. Uh, next, you're going to need some quartz slabs. Now, this part is kind of tricky with all the smoke. But you got to... Okay, so you want to make sure you, you don't click it up here. You click it just down here. So... Oh, jeez. And then there's that, which happens, and it's kind of a pain, but... Uh, this part you gotta be very careful, and it does take a little bit of time if your hot tub is larger. You gotta specifically aim. Shoot, curse word. Just below here. Then once you finish that first easy. Low, and then once you finish that, it's pretty easy. You just gotta aim for the wait. Ah, oh, just never mind. I'm gonna I'm gonna stop talking. All right, and they there you have it. Now, simply add one layer of these around the edge. If you want your hot tub to be shallow, then don't add this around the edge. If you want, if you do want it to be deep. Oh, if, um, okay, so quick thing, when you fill the hot tub, if you want it to be deep, do this. If you want the middle to be deep, but the outside not so deep, then you would add 
quartz slabs right here. Which is how I'm going to do it so it looks like a real hot somewhere that just the middle is deep. The outside is like a stairs stuff you can sit on. It's a pretty cool design, actually, now when I'm looking at it. So I'm going to actually clear out my inventory. Inventory. So you need regular quartz and quartz pillar just for the way I'm doing it. If you do want it to look... Oh, wait, no, I just realized I can't do it like this. Because that is, that's only for square. Yeah, it's only for square design. Oh my gosh, I am so dumb. Yeah. Oh jeez, I forgot, you cannot stack. You'd have to add, oh my gosh, I'm still brain dead from this earlier this morning when I made the first video. Oh god. Mm. I'm gonna do just regular quartz, no fancy designs or anything. Okay, then from here you would fill it with water. Uh, fill it to the brim, in, right in this part. Once again, if you wanted that shallow, uh, what do I have to do? What do you have to do? I forgot. Oh yeah, you would add uh, another layer of slabs right down here. So you would add a slab right there. In this case, I am only making the outer edges, just so it's like a real hot tub with this whole sitting part. Alright, there you go. Now, if you do want some neat design, you can add something out here. I'm going to be adding, not torches, ugh. Quartz slab, quartz, quartz slabs right here in each of the corners, and this is a really really, I mean, really bad circle hot tub. I gotta make it bigger. It's like a really weird square. Oh, God. Yeah, let's just call it a square. Oh, jeez, it's bad. Alright, I'm, uh, finished decorating just the outer sides. I need effects. I do remember, uh, when I was trying to build the showroom one, that fire can add some pretty neat glows. Yeah, so there you guys have it. This is my other hot tub. Actually, you know, I'm gonna do something really cool right now, actually. I'm gonna... I, like I said, I really love sea lanterns when it comes to water projects. There we go. And there you guys have it. A really neat hot tub. This is actually a really cool hot tub. I should have used this one for the showroom instead. So that's a really... I'm going to actually turn this area into the showroom. So for the stairs, pretty simple. You just add the steps and signs. I'm going to refill this. I really got to get like a time lapse thing to do this. So guys, thank you for watching my video. I do hope you liked it. If you want to see more like this, go ahead, uh, like below, like down, like, oh my god, I'm still brain dead. Still also very brain dead. So once again, guys, if you do, did, if you loved, if you like, just take two, god. If you liked this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you want any suggestions, go ahead and leave them. I'm going to try and do that TV again. It's just not working. The redstone part is just kind of being really difficult with me. It's not cooperating. All right, so thank you for watching. I really do hope you love my skin. It is custom made by me. I, st I stole the design and then I just kind of edit, 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 edit. I still don't know how to say that. Edited it. Edit edited it I edited I edit 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 I edit I edit to did I edit I edited thanks for watching peace